What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with some breaking news regarding The Division 2. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But all of this information and more for today's video is on my Twitter page, X if you nasty. So follow me over here at Kamikaze Von Doom for everything Division related before I make a YouTube video. So. This was uh, posted from the developers, and to give you a little bit of context, uh, today is the release day of Title Update 20. This is Year 5, Season 3, Title Update 20, Project Resolve. The titles go on and on and on. Now with that, bugs are bound to happen. We were told that with Project Resolve, this update was to fix thousands of bugs. And, well... Uh, a few other bugs started popping up. So they made this post, all right? And this is from the developers, and this was posted today. And it says, We've updated our information board to reflect all known issues, including the most recent ones affecting online services. A lot of people have been saying that their game's been freezing, they've been getting kicked off, Delta, Mike, you know, Sierra, all of those, <laughs> you know, uh, error codes. Reconfiguring exotics. A lot of people have been saying that they've been reconfiguring their exotics when their inventories are full and then they lose their exotics, which I don't want to say, come on, man, or come on, man, but seriously... If your inventory or stash is full, do not try to get more items. Because what this does when you reconfigure an exotic, all right, it puts your exotic into the machine and then it pops out a new exotic. So if you have a full inventory and you're trying to get a new exotic out of that reconfiguration station, you're, it's going to disappear. So that is a big issue right now. Big issue. So if you are reconfiguring your exotics, do not have a full inventory, please. It will not mess up if you have a normal inventory, you know, 120 out of 150. But if you are walking around with 150 out of 150 and you can't pick up a single thing, don't try to reconfigure your exotics. Right now, you will lose them, okay? And then finally, it says something is up with the manhunt objective. So we'll read about all of these known issues. So here we go. Alrighty, known issues board. Let's see what is new. Starting with reported, nothing new. Going to investigating. Um, here we go. Here's our first one, and it's under critical. So this is very important. So it says, reconfiguring any exotic item while the inventory is full may result in the deletion of that exotic item. Oh, man. So you are losing your exotics. That's not a maybe. It says that it will delete your exotic. So to fix this, it says, please refrain from re-rolling your exotics until this issue is fixed. Oh, man. Now, they're telling you to just not even re-roll your exotics at all. What I would tell you to do is don't do it with a full inventory. Come on. This is an easy fix, easy workaround. They're telling no one to do it because they don't want anyone else to lose their exotics. Rightfully so. That's a good play. But what I'm telling you to do is you can reconfigure them. I'm doing it on every platform with no issues. Just don't do it with a full inventory. That will mess your ish up. You don't want your items deleted, okay? So just come on. All right, moving on. Next up, their online services are currently experiencing issues. Season pass and bundles. It says uh, that online services are currently experiencing issues for that. So if you have any sort of... Se uh, I've actually... I witnessed this one where I got the season pass and then it took like 10 to 15 minutes for it to actually like show up. Um, the bundle, I haven't done the bundle or any of that yet, so I don't know. But for the season pass, even myself, as soon as I got it, I did have to wait like 10 to 15 minutes for it to even register that I had it. 
Okay. So that's another one. Dude, another problem. PCs. Gameplay stutters. So for everyone saying that you are having problems on PCs, you are not the only one. It seems a lot of people on PC are uh, experiencing game stutters. Is this another one? Dude, another one. Manhunt. No objective is displayed for the players to go to New York. Talk to Mackenzie Merritt in New York to the right from the player. The information is available in the Manhunt menu. So for everyone wondering how to start the Manhunt, just go to New York and talk to Mackenzie Merritt. She's in the same spot that Kelso used to be in. So as soon as you spawn into the Haven settlement, just turn right and she will be right there at the table. So again, to start your manhunt, go to the Haven settlement and talk to Mackenzie. Dude, that's a lot of issues right there. That was what, like four issues? Just boom, 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 boom. All right. Let's keep going. Anything else that is new? Oh, right here. Uh, Palisade Steelworks. So gear UI issues. When Palisade Steelworks is selected as targeted loot, the named items that drop alongside it have the Palisade Steelworks icon. That's really not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. That's fine. They, they just want to fix the display. That's fine. Not a big deal. All right, going to fix ready. Dude, they have already have fixes out the yang. All right, tinkering issues. When optimizing an item, the player may experience lack of UI sounds. All right, so don't think that your game's broken or anything. They just don't have any sounds associated with optimizing. Another one for tinkering. Currently, there is a issue where equipped items are not being displayed first in the tinkering categories. Um, yeah, I showed this during the PTS a while ago. Um, they are going to fix it for TU 20.1, so that's good. Um, I would expect uh, TU 20.1 to be in the next week or two, I believe. It's whenever the first apparel event is. So whenever that is, expect TU 20.1, because usually the apparel events spark title updates. Next, for tinkering, there may be instances where the required missing materials are not being displayed for optimizations. Eesh, man. So tinkering's having quite a number of issues here. Um, stabilized talent cannot be replaced. That's an old one. That's an old one. Players, oh, right here. Uh, descent. It says players under level 30 are able to purchase the Vindicator exotic from the NSA. Oh, snap. Yo, that's a good problem for the players. So if you are under level 30, you can actually purchase the new exotic from the NSA station. Um, that's not good for the, uh, the developers, but that's good for the average player. Because you can uh, have that Vindicator very early on, and then you can go through, like, Wony and all that with the Vindicator. That's pretty dope. Um, it says here, there is a known issue where players under level 30 are able to purchase the Vindicator exotic from the NSA tech vendor. Despite not being intended to do so, this results in weapon dropping with minimum rolls. That's fine, because you can optimize it. Dang. All right, next... Oop, right here. Another one. Descent. Players under level 40 are able to purchase the reconstructed caches. Oh my gosh. So you can now get reconstructed caches under level 40 as well. And that gives you the named item blueprints. Oh man. It says if the players under level 40 purchase the reconstructed cache, these caches will not reward them anything. Oh, that's even worse. So you can do it, but you're not going to get anything out of it. That's horrible. Dang, I'm glad they're going to fix that. And I'm glad I'm over level 40. Um, let's see here. Placeholder text is shown in conflict matches reward section. Okay, yep, I did see some text missing from the uh, reward screen. 
Uh, let's see here. Ortiz, so the Vindicator talent and behind you, perfectly behind you, descriptions are not updated. So that's a known issue. Skill mods. Skill mods used in loadouts that end up automatically deconstructed are not replaced in the loadout. So if you get a better mod and it deletes your old mod, if that was in a loadout, your loadout will not have the new mod. So you're going to have to equip each loadout and uh, save it with the new mod. Okay? Dude, there's so many issues. Perks. Certain specialization perks that are related to armor kits also affect instant armor kits. Oh, snap. Yo, this is deadly in PvP. What? I'm wondering what specialization perks right now work with instant armor kits. Oh my gosh. Dude, that could be dangerous. Especially if you get bonus armor from Gunner, or you get uh, health and armor from the Firewall. This is sick. That's, I mean, that would have been cool to have in the game, but that's sick. Okay. Um, the fireworks show talent description has not been updated for PvP, and that is for the new festive delivery. All right, and that is it. So just a summary, because that was a lot. I'm sorry. Um, so just for a uh, summary, season pass and bundles are experiencing issues. So if you just purchased a season pass or a bundle, eh, you might have some issues. Uh, PCs are experiencing some gameplay stutters. So if you are on PC, I am sorry for you. For the manhunts, uh, make sure you go to Haven and talk to McKenzie to start the manhunt. Um, as far as do, 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 anything else worth mentioning... Oh, it's all under fix ready. So all of these things will be fixed in the next title update, but we're not sure when that's going to happen. So tinkering has quite a few issues. Um, the do, 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 descent, you can get the Vindicator right now under level 30. However, you can also get the reconstructed cache, but that reconstructed cache will not get you anything. Uh, let's see. That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, and then skill mods. If you get a better skill mod, just make sure you um, equip each of your loadouts and resave them with the new mods. Pretty simple fix there. All right, and those are all of the known issues in the Division 2 right now with Title Update 20. I know that was quite a bit, and um, trust me, <laughs> I know. Um, but it is what it is. At least now you know the known issues, and then you can work around them. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Hopefully we can help you with whatever other issues you have. But besides that, hit that like, subscribe. You know the whole YouTube spiel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace out.